This is Hayes to wave you, baby. I'm the King of Ray. If you don't know now, you know. Please don't be free at the door. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment. There you go. We will get straight into the shits. LGBT, Beauty, Dave Chappelle, Sticks and Stones. This is his special before his last one. Let's get straight to the reaction. All right? Sorry for how the audio is, but niggas, niggas want to copyright and shit. You can't really. So, yeah. Celebrity hunting season. Doesn't matter what I say, they're gonna get everybody eventually. Like, I, look, I don't think I did anything wrong, but, but we'll see. <laughs> they even got poor Kevin Hart. Can you imagine such a thing, Kevin Hart? Let me tell you something. It was it was Kevin Hart's dream to host the Oscars. That's what he told me. And I remember when he told me because I was thinking to myself, well, that's an awfully strange dream for an African American. <laughs> What kind of nigga dreams of hosting the Oscars? That's crazy. Kevin did, that's who. And he did it. Against all the odds, Kevin became the most famous comedian this world has nigga ever seen, Philly, and he got the job that only one black man before him had. He was gonna host the 80th Oscars. And I don't know what you know about Kevin, but I know Kevin Hart is damn near perfect. As close to perfect as anybody I've ever seen. In fact, Kevin is precisely four tweets shy of being perfect. <laughs> 10 years ago, Kevin had made some very homophobic comments. And I'm not gonna repeat what he said, because this is Atlanta. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm sure there's a lot of gay men here tonight with their wives. <laughs> That's true. It's probably true. Far be it from me to offend anybody. All right, I'll tell you what he said. But just remember, these were not my words. These were Kevin's words. <laughs> You're like, oh, just make sure. Don't tell me for what I said about nothing, nigga, what they said. Like, yeah, <laughs> damn, son. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dave. Go ahead, it was Dave. a long time ago. And I'm paraphrasing because I'm not good at telling other people's jokes. Okay, Kevin said <laughs> that if his little son was demonstrating or, or, or exhibiting uh, homosexual behavior around the house, that he'd chastise him. He'd say, hey, that's gay. And then he said he would smash a dollhouse over that child's head. Ooh, the gay community was furious. And I don't blame them. They got a lot of gay friends. And all of them, 100% of them, all have told me fucking horror stories about the shit they had to go through just to be themselves. Crazy, crazy stories. And in all those stories, I gotta say, not one of them has ever mentioned anything like their father smashing a fucking dollhouse <laughs> over their head. Because clearly Kevin was joking. Think about it. You would have to buy this nigga a dollhouse to break it over his head in the first place. Does that sound right? Is anybody gonna do that? It's, yeah. The gay community was upset, and then they put so much pressure on the Academy of Motion Pictures and Sciences that they went to Kevin and said, if you don't apologize to that community, then you cannot host these Oscars. And then Kevin- I still feel away about that. I feel, a, I still to this day, to this day, I still feel away about that. Shout out to Wilder, you still a warrior, baby. I still feel a way about that, cuz. I really feel a way about that, man. It was like, it was something, a joke from 10 years ago on Twitter. Got a nigga from hosting the Oscars. A tweet from 10 years ago got a nigga from hosting the 80th Oscars. A nigga from Philly that made it from the mud all the way up to that. It's like, come on, son. Like, come on. Go ahead. And said, fuck it, I quit. And then he went on every talk show in America and apologized for six weeks. <laughs> yeah. That was crazy. Kevin fucked up. I understand the mistake he made because I've made the same mistake early in my career. The thing is, Kevin did apologize sometime way before the tweet resurfaced. Like, he already apologized. Why are you asking niggas to re-apologize for shit they already did? 
Well, I didn't know that he apologized. You can find a tweet from 10 years ago, but you don't know he apologized? If you can find a tweet from 10 years ago, you can find an apology he made in a magazine, or I think a magazine outlet, or a media outlet that he did an apology for. That's all I'm saying. Like, if he never apologized, then I can see, yeah, just want to make sure niggas ain't on that, still on that type of time where you want to smash doll houses on your homophobic kid. Like, but I understand that. But, like, bruh. But once again, it was 10 years ago. Nigga, like, you know what you did 10 years ago? Scratch that. 10 months ago? Scratch that. 10 weeks ago? 10 days ago? You tell me you would, everything you're doing was wholesome, nigga? Like, you tell me everything you were doing was wholesome? I don't believe so. I don't think people are looking up your past to see what you did. And have to apologize. Imagine going, imagine, imagine building up a house from the mud, from the dirt. Building this three-story mansion from the mud. Your dream house. It has all the furniture you want, the chandeliers, you got a man cave, or you got a, a walk-in closet with clothes all over it or whatever. You got wall hangers and everything. You have everything you ever want in that dream house you made from the, from the ground. You go to walk in, and right before you about to open the door, somebody's at the door and say, hold up, wait before, before you open this and, and, and live in here, we want to confront you with all the bad shit you did in your past. What? <laughs> but I already, I built a, this house from the mud. Like, I I, 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 I had to deal with all this other shit. Like, I, I dealt with that. I, 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 but it's in the past. Like, I'm not that person. I'm gonna, no, 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 no. I don't care about it. I don't care about it. You got to confront this stuff again, all over again. All the bad stuff, all the shit you did, confront that shit again. You know how crazy that sound? Nigga, no people are not trying to promote violence against LGBTQ. We're never going to promote that. We're never going to be cool with that. At the same time, it was a joke from a tweet that was just bad in taste. There's something called bad taste. Not that I had bad, you're not allowed to have bad taste no more. You're not allowed to have bad taste. It was just it was just bad in taste. That's all it was. A nigga was about to host the Oscars and they got taken from him. That's crazy. Many years ago, 15 years ago, it's when I was doing Chappelle's show. There's a uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> On network television, they have a department that's called Standards and Practices. This is the department that tells you what you can and cannot say on television. And if you're doing your job well, you should never hear from them. But if you're making a Chappelle show, you'll hear from these motherfuckers all the time. <laughs> and remember, this is 15 years ago. I made a mistake. I didn't even know I had done anything wrong. I had written a sketch that had the word faggot in it. I'm definitely gonna bleep that out. That's not. They're not gonna go through. They're not gonna go through. It's not gonna go through the go through the lot. It's not gonna go through the middle. It's not gonna go through. I can't make. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make all the blame. It's not gonna go through. Yeah. So I had to go to standards and practices. They call me up. I don't know why they're calling me, but I like the lady that runs the department. She's usually really fair and was one of my favorite people I've ever worked with. So she sits me down. We have a nice conversation. She tells me, oh, the sketches are great. I go, oh, fantastic. Well, then, well, then why am I here? She said, because, David, there's no way that you can ever say the word faggot on <laughs> our network. <laughs> I'm an old school 40s <laughs> gangster. Hmm. She, you can't really say that. She, these are like old honeymooners. No, 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 yeah, they're my old honeymooners. Jackie Gleason types. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love how that nigga did that shit. That shit was fucking about that. We are not happy about that word, but we're just saying. It was funny the way he, way he, way he delivered it. It was a great delivery. Great delivery. He's the GOAT for a reason. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't try to defend myself. I said, all right, fuck it. I'll take it out. Have a good afternoon. And as I was leaving, it occurred to me. Hey, hey, Renee, quick question. <laughs> it's just a question. I, seriously, I want to know, like, why, why is it, why is it that, that I can say the word nigger with impunity? <laughs> but I can't say the word faggot. <laughs> and she said, because, David, you are not gay. I said, well, Renee, 
I'm not a nigger either. That may be the best joke ever said. It reminded me of Richard Pryor. He said, do you see any niggas? No, I don't see them. Like, yeah, but we accepted it because, you know, we accepted the word nigga as a, 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 a terms of endearment at this point. Know what I mean? Say it all the time. Sleep up. Mm, nigga. I wake up saying, mm, uh, beep, beep, beep. Uh, nigga. Like, I wake up saying, like, it's just a term of endearment. Like, we have made it ours. That's what we do. More any struggle, any people that struggle, any, any type of people, it, it make it make us a, it make anything that was negative against them. They try to make it their own to get to gain that power back. Know what I mean? Love the way he wrote that down. And I know people hate. See, this is the thing. It's never good to compare struggles. I'm not gonna compare my black struggle to to being gay or what what have you. I can never know what it's like being gay. Like you would never know what it's like being black. You're just never going to know. We, no matter how we explain it to you, you're never going to know. Right? So don't don't try to compare struggles. Because when you try to compare struggles, then we really got to start breaking down struggles. Know what I mean? That's why we don't... It's never good. Nobody wins when the family fuse. Shout out to Jay-Z. Like, by the same time, we're talking about how society is set up. Like, you can... How society is set up. You can say nigga all day, da 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 but certain shit you can't say. It's like, damn. Like, I guess we really at the bottom of the pyramid, huh? Like. <laughs> From my point of view as a black man in America. But you see, what I didn't realize at the time and what Kevin had to learn the hard way is we were breaking an unwritten and unspoken rule of show business. And if I say it, you'll know that I'm telling you the truth. The rule is that no matter what you do in your artistic expression, you are never, ever allowed to upset the alphabet people. <laughs> you know who I mean. Those people that took 20% of the alphabet for themselves. <laughs> I'd say the letters, but I don't want to conjure their anger. That's ah, too late now. I'm talking about them L's and them B's and them G's and <laughs> the T's. People be surprised. I have friends all kinds of letters. Everybody loves me and I love everybody. I got friends who are L's, I got friends who are B's, and I got friends who are G's. But the T's hate my fucking guts. <laughs> it's genius how he never said the actual words of what the acronyms mean. He just said the letter. That's fuck. This nigga is the gold, bro. Genius, bro. Genius. But let's see how he breaks this down. I haven't seen this in a long time. Let's see how he breaks this down. And I don't blame him. It's not their fault. It's mine. I can't stop telling jokes about these niggas. <laughs> I don't want to write these jokes, but I just can't stop. <laughs> you know, you hear all those letters together all the time, LBGT, LBGT, and you think it's just one big movement. It's not. All those letters are their own movement. They just travel in the same car together. God, it's genius, genius. And my guess is, uh oh. What is this, high school? This nigga probably got a babysitter or something. Go on and answer your phone, nigga. Just <laughs> get that phone, shit nigga. out of here. I'm, I'm in the middle yeah. of something important. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if we made fun of him? He's like, ah, 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 and he went outside like, hello? Mama's dead. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Mama's dead. Ah! <laughs> 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 that was a weird time phone call, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a weird time, huh? It's like his phone is gay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> like I was saying, My guess is, the G's are driving that car. 
That makes sense to me, because there's white men in the G's. And these people are trying to get around uh, discrimination and oppression. And you know how white dudes are. We know these roads. <laughs> in fact, we built these roads. <laughs> the rest of you buckle up. We'll get you to where you want to go. <laughs> so the G's are just driving the car. Of course, next to the G's in the passenger seat is the L's. Everybody likes the L's, except for the G's. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. I just know the G's don't like them that much. And the G's always say like little subliminal digs on them. It's unnecessary shit. It's not mean, but you know what I mean? They just be like, oh, I wouldn't wear that. <laughs> the only thing that breaks the tension between the L's and the G's are the B's in the back seat. That's right, there you go. Everybody scream out when you hear your letter. <laughs> B, woo! <laughs> yo, this nigga is great at fucking improv. That's why this nigga the go, yo. The nigga could do a whole set of no written material and just go off of whatever his thoughts is in the crowd. This guy's the go, bro. If it's one thing that the L's and the G's agree on, is that the B's are fucking gross. <laughs> they seem greedy to the L's and the G's, you know what I mean? They're just sitting in the back seat like, yeah, man, I'll fuck anybody in this car. What's going on, man? <laughs> and sitting next to the B's, all the way in the back seat by themselves, looking out the window. That's the T's. <laughs> Everybody in the car respects the T's, but everyone also resents the T's. It's not the T's fault, but everyone in the car just feels like the T's are making the trip take longer. <laughs> <laughs> anything the T's say gets on everybody's nerves. And then the T's don't even say anything bad. They should be in the back talking to himself. <laughs> I'm hot. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, okay? Just roll the window down, you bitch. I don't know what you. What? Just said I was hot. Can you pull over at the next exit? I need to use the restroom. There is not a restroom for you for four states, nigga. Will you just shut the fuck up so we can get where we're going? <laughs> and just when that car can't get any more tense, the cues are a hitchhiker that they pick up on the road. Some white dude in booty shorts is walking down the freeway. <laughs> the G's see him. Hmm, that guy might be one of us. Hey, are you okay? You need some help? And he come over there with them booty shorts leaning on the window. Hey, it's going on, fellas. Lady, whatever pronoun makes you feel comfortable in the back. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know where I'm going. I don't know if I'm gay or I'm straight or whatever. All I know for sure is that um, I really want to get in this car. And they make him get in and sit in between the B's and the T's. <laughs> I feel bad for T's, but they're so confusing. And it's not all my fault. I, I feel like they need to take some responsibility for my jokes. Because <laughs> I didn't come up with this idea on my own, this idea that a person can be born in the wrong body. But they have to admit, that's a fucking hilarious predicament. <laughs> it's really fucking funny. If it happened to me, you'd laugh, wouldn't you? That wouldn't be funny if it happened to me. I think it would be. What if, what if it did? What if, what if I was, what if I was Chinese, but, but born in this nigga body? That's not funny. <laughs> and for the rest of my life, I had to go around making that face. Hey everybody, I'm Chinese. 
and everyone get mad. Stop making that face. That's offensive. What? <laughs> this is how I feel inside. <laughs> Ew, that's fucking genius, bro. That's crazy. But that's like how, it's, that's the best way to fucking explain. Yo, I'm gonna let it go the last 10 seconds off. Yeah. <laughs> bro. Yo, that's, yo, that's like the most genius joke ever, yo. Like, I feel like I'm aging inside, bro. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, then I got to do about that. Like, that's the best way to say, like, these are just jokes, yo. We ain't trying to attack. Like, you can't. Here's the thing. Right? I hear do no friggin' speech. I have a dream that one day all those gay people and that straight people. I ain't here to do a, a, a speech on y'all, bro. I'm just, this is just an icebreaker. You understand? This is just an icebreaker to where we're about to go. You understand? <laughs> just a little icebreaker. But, once again, these are just jokes. We're not trying to attack anybody. But you, what, what I was about to say is, you can't be screaming equal rights and you can't be equally joked on or even critiqued. It doesn't go that way. You can't want equal rights and, and scream freedom of expression but then attack people who use equal rights and freedom of expression. You see where I'm going here? But this is this is just the first stop in the car. We're about to take a ride on. This is just the first stop. We're gonna make a ride to the closer lane. <laughs> about to take a ride on to the closer exit right there. See you soon. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Leave a comment how you feel. We don't shame nobody here. But just know all jokes are created equal. You understand? I right, this hate to every baby. You gotta go home. But you gotta get the hell up out of here. Peace.